Okay, now we have the edit text boxes coded, so they're right here. I'm going to just minimize these so that it's easier to uh, move up and down in my code so it's not as long. In this video, we're going to code up the four pop-up menus here that we have, one, two, three, four, because they're all essentially similar. Uh, if you want to know why I do certain things in here, then you take a look at my uh, pop-up menu GUI um, the video that I have in, in, in my MATLAB GUI playlist. So here, for the grid type, we're going to get the contents... Uh, by taking the cell string, and we're going to get the h object string, like we normally do, and then I'm going to get the pop choice. I'm going to have this variable pop choice. There, oops, that was a b. Pop choice, and I'm going to get the contents. Uh, I'm going to get from the contents. I'm going to get the actual value that was selected. So this is what's actually selected. And now I'm going to have two if statements. Because I have two options in the grid type, I have uniform and non-uniform. I'm going to code up two. Uh, there's going to be an if and an else if. So the first is if is the string compare. We're going to compare the strings between the pop choice, so what's actually selected, and uniform, like this. And then if it's equal to uniform, we're going to say that the pop grid type is equal to one. And else if the string compare between pop choice and non-uniform, so if it actually says if we selected the non-uniform selection, then we're going to change the pop grid type to 2. We'll end that, and then we should assign this into the base. We want to assign the pop grid type into the base. And you can remember from up when we initialized it up here that pop grid type was set to 1 initially because initially in our in our, uh, when we set up the GUI, it is selected as uniform, so 1 is equal to uniform. So now if we go in here, this is where we are, we're going to save that, going to run it. See initially it's saved as pop grid type is 1. If I go in here, now I should be able to click non-uniform, it changes pop grid type to 2. Okay, so in a similar sense, I'm going to copy this code into the trailing edge here, and now here for uh, we keep the pop choice. That's not something that we, that's just a throwaway variable that we use here. Uh, this is all the same, but we want to change what this says here. So in the trailing edge, remember we have both the open and we also have the closed. And this has to change. So this is not pop grid type anymore. This is pop trailing edge. And I can shift enter to change those, but I also need to change this here. So now if we run that, I can open it up and I should be able to change this. And you can see over here, pop trailing edge changes from 1 to 2. Okay. And now we go to this one here. This is pop plot as. So again, don't need to change anything until we get to here. This one we need a line. This one we want circle. And now we need to add another one because we have three options. So I'll do string compare between pop choice and dot like that, and then we'll say pop te, uh, this is actually not pop te, but hold on one second, it's going to be number three, this is actually going to be pop plot as, shift change those, and again change this one, save it, that should be fine, and then the last one we want to do is the save style, so we want to change this to uh, le to te, and then this one from uh, to te to le, and we'll change this to save type, shift enter to change, and then change this one as well. We'll save it and we can run it. And then we'll just check these last ones. The line that changes pop plot as to uh, two, this changes it to three, changes it back to one, and then down here, this changes pop save type from one to two. Okay, so those all work. Thanks for watching this one and stay tuned for the next video.